Good morning, BBC Houston, and welcome to day 17 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I hope that you've been encouraged during this time. And as we end, let's finish off strong. Today, we will be reading out of Daniel 3. The story begins with King Nebuchadnezzar building a gold statue for the town to worship. But there were three people who refused because they knew that their worship belonged to one God and one God only. When the king heard of this news, he was very unhappy and called the three. He gave them one more chance to bow down to the gold statue in which they refused. He threatened to throw them into the fiery furnace and crank it up seven times hotter. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had no fear in their heart because they knew who their God was and who he was in their life. In verse 24, then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and he rose in haste and spoke saying to his counselors, did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. Look, he answered, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. I want to encourage you, church, that as we are fasting, as we are spending time in our devotion, temptation may rise and things may happen. Some of us may feel like we are in a fiery furnace, and some may feel like we're in a fiery furnace and it's seven times hotter. But through every situation, God is with us. The best part of this story is the last part. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. If you continue to put God first, he will continue to promote you and elevate you in all things. No matter what your storm may look like or your situation, I encourage you to just push forward, press in, and continue to seek God first. Church, if we can bow our heads and pray. God, thank you for bringing us here today, Lord, and thank you for the revelation and knowing that you are with us through the fire and through the storm. We have no fear in our heart, Lord, because we know that you are with us. We thank you for using us, for promoting us, and for elevating us. It is in your name that we pray. Amen.